Greetings and welcome to the Our Essence of Serenity's YouTube channel and as always a special welcome back to our OEOS tribe. In today's video I just wanted to come on here and give a few words of encouragement as well as give clarity to those who are seeking clarity at this time. We understand that the messages that we put out on our channel is not meant for everyone so if this does not resonate with you that's fine feel free to click off. If it does resonate with you then that means that this message is for you. We understand that at this time, everyone is pretty much going through something, whether it's things that's being that's coming about by way of what's going on in the world or by way of what's going on in your personal life. Um, for a lot of people, there have been a lot of changes that have taken place. And I'm not just talking about the changes in the world, but just how we've had to kind of revamp our lives for what's going on at this time. Um, like I always say, whatever is um, happening in the physical is merely a reflection of what's going on in the spiritual. So at this time, I just want to encourage everyone to look at um, everything that you're enduring from a spiritual aspect. Um, with that, that takes you reevaluating where you are spiritually. How do you feel about your spiritual path? What do you feel that you're being shown? Um, some of the ways to seek this out can be by way of meditation it can be while by way of just getting around other like-minded individuals because as we all know sometimes things are said to us through other people um also pay attention to different um things that you're seeing around you um numerology if you're seeing certain numbers that keep popping up um, you can always Google to find out what those numbers mean, um, as well as certain, I would say certain visions that you may be getting, um, certain messages that you may be getting by, you know, whatever it is, social media, um, also understand that we're dealing with the time where um karma everyone's getting their karma and karma is not always good and karma is not always bad but understand that when dealing with karma it's really a time for us to go within and kind of be alone with self reevaluate ourselves we reevaluate the choices and the decisions that we've made both good and bad it's not a time for you to nitpick with yourself it's just more so of a time for you to do some self-discovery um like i said kind of reevaluate your past certain things that you've done that you may not be proud of and certain things that you are proud of when it comes to evaluating certain things that we may not be proud of is not meant for us to bash ourselves but it is meant for us to take accountability you have some people that's like well i'm a good person i don't bother anyone but understand that when we're dealing with karma sometimes karma is not based off what we've done to other people but what we've done to ourselves how we've neglected ourselves how we've mistreated ourselves even if you're a person that usually puts yourself on the back burner to help other people well that's a form of neglect i believe that um you have people that are gods and goddesses therefore when if you're a god or a goddess or just someone here people that's here for a, um a divine purpose period when we do certain things thinking that okay i'll sacrifice myself for the greater good sometimes the way in which we tend to sacrifice ourselves for the greater good can actually be a form of hurting ourselves um not always physically but spiritually so understand that when you hear people speak of this being being a time where we are reaping karma understand that it can be karma by way of the ways that we've neglected ourselves the ways that we've hurted ourselves um so just kind of be mindful of the self-love and the self-care that you're giving yourself like i said i would tell anyone at this time um go deep within your spirituality um there's a lot of spiritualists on youtube where you can go and you can look at their videos we have certain videos on our channel that you can go and you can look at um understand that it's about the message and the message it's not it's not about the messenger but it's about the message um with that being said i would also i would also say that if you're seeking assistance from spiritualists that you may be watching on youtube or that you actually may know in person 
understand that they're only meant to be utilized as assistance, not for you to model your spiritual path after them. So um, I would say also as difficult as it can be for all of us not to let what's going on around us mold what we embark on spiritually, meaning don't let what's going on or we don't get so wrapped up in what's going on in this world because understand that distractions are real. And if you kind of look at how our emotions are being pulled in so many different directions, that's meant to distract us. It, 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 it's meant to keep our attention directed on the outside versus going inward. Um, so once again, I just wanted to come on here. I just wanted to give everyone words of encouragement. Also, like I said, when it comes to karma, um, karma is not always bad. Um, so just know that at this time, some of the things that you could be going through could be a test to see if all of these things that you've been manifesting thus far, now that you're at that key moment to whereas it's either you're going to get these things or you're going to miss out on these things understand that that um is all centered around how much we allow ourselves to get distracted to be honest um because if we're not distracted we're able to focus in and see the bigger picture and you would be able to know that okay i'm at a crossroad i'm at a crossroads and if I stay focused on what I know to be true to myself, then I can now see that this, everything that's happening in my life or around me may look bad, but it's really a test to see if I'm really ready to receive those things that I've been trying to manifest for the longest. So once again, um, I just wanted to come on here, give a few words of encouragement and give some clarity. Um, you can check out some of our other YouTube videos, like I said um, before. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you take to um, if you take to what you're hearing from this video and you're new, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when we post content. Also, that is a way for you to become a part of our OEOS tribe. With our OEOS tribe, that's merely about us all growing together um coming together at this time people are linking up with their tribes you may be stepping out of old relationships and i'm not just talking about intimate relationships but friendships uh, relationships with certain family members you may be shedding those relationships so that you can be available to mingle within the tribe that you belong into so also share this video so that this message is able to reach others like this video and just comment your thoughts below when it comes to um, the things that you've heard me discuss in this video. So once again, thank you to our new subscribers. Thank you to everyone that view our videos um, every week that we post content. And I just want to wish everyone um well wishes when it comes to whatever it is that you're embarking on on your journey that hopefully you're embarking on it to lead you to your purpose as far as why you're here talk to you all next time